It's the little things that make me remember why I signed up to be in law enforcement, why I took my oath, why I swore to protect those that I don't even know, knowing I may not return home to my own family. Yesterday, I received a card in the mail from a normal hustle that I've not been able to work the past two months because of the pandemic. The card was a simple thank you for what you do. Last year, I was working at a school in my jurisdiction. I was approached by a child with obvious cognitive impairments. He reached out his hand, giving me a handmade Christmas card saying, thank you. I do it for you. I do it for all the kids that run up to the car begging for stickers and to turn on the blue lights. I do it for the woman that was stranded on the side of Highway 52 with a bad battery. I do it for all the people who say it wasn't me and laugh as soon as I walk in the store or restaurant. I do it for the 15 month old little girl that couldn't protect herself from the person who harmed her. I do it for the little boy who couldn't speak but wandered away from home. I do it for his mother who broke down and cried in my arms begging me to find her son. I do it because I was there to witness the reaction when the two were reunited. I do it for the two 13-year-old little girls in the back seat of a car, being driven by one of their mothers when they hit another vehicle head-on, killing all three. I was first on scene. The same night, I did it for the man crying on his front porch with a gun to his head wanting to kill himself. I do it so I can hug him afterwards and hopefully assist him to get the help he needs. I do it for the clerk at Burger King who stops me in the drive-thru after recognizing me because she needed to say thank you for saving her life and helping her get out of a bad situation. I do it for the woman who was held at gunpoint by her boyfriend in the front yard, throwing her behind me, putting myself and my life between him and her. I do it for my community. I do it for the people in my jurisdiction. I come home after a 12-hour shift, feeling as though I ran 17 miles with the amount of mental stress that's put on me on all of us daily. But I do it happily because I know I'm doing my part to keep you safe from the evil that some people pretend doesn't exist. I do it for you. Even if you hate me, I'll still do it for you. You can hate me, that's okay. I'll still put my life before yours to make sure you make it home, even if it means I won't. I do it because I care. I don't care who you are, where you're from, the color of your skin, what religion you believe, what language you speak, or what part of town you're from, I will protect you. I will come when you call. I don't do it for the free meals, for the recognition of being a cop, or for the money. I do it for you.